But let's uh, get your news now from Telangana, where all schools and colleges from pre-KG to PG, including Anganwaris, will now open on the 1st of September. Parents are keen for physical classes to resume, provided the schools take adequate precautions. Anganwari IS teachers and school staff have been vaccinated on priority. Mix of anticipation and concern among mothers of children under six years at this Anganwadi in Sikandrabad, where they have come to collect their monthly quota of eggs and dry ration. Today's egg distribution day at this Anganwadi and all the mothers have come in with their children. What is impressive is that even during the period of lockdown, all these mothers say they were getting the eggs and other rations for their children as well as for the pregnant and lactating women. What they, however, missed for their children is preschool education. Parents and teachers say, even though Telangana provides online education options, like this TSAT channel, even for preschool children, it has its limitations. Dikshita says she struggles with online classes and looks forward to return to school. I don't like online classes. I cannot understand anything in online tests. But I can understand, but sometimes it's a network problem and everything are coming. So if schools are open, I can complete everything and I can, I'll can. feel happy and I can meet all my friends if schools are open. Parents, however, want the government to allow only teachers and staff who are fully vaccinated in the school. Everyone should be vaccinated, right? If they don't get out of the children, if they don't get out of the children, then it's okay. The Telangana government's decision to reopen all Anganwadi schools and colleges on the 1st of September came after the state's health director declared formally that the second wave is over. And the education department said closure of schools was affecting the mental health of children. In Hyderabad with camera person Nagraju Umasudhir, NDTV.